Test drive the vehicle to ensure the transmission is operating properly and has no leaks. Check to ensure the transmission fluid is at proper operating level and temperature. Protective eye and hand gear is strongly recommended. Connect the machine's battery cables properly to the vehicle's battery. Press 0 for the main menu. Press 5 to prime the machine. Connect the red and black service hose using the master connectors and mating adapters. Press Start. The machine will automatically prime and the display will read Prime Complete. Disconnect the adapters. Connect the machine's battery cables properly to the vehicle's battery. Select the correct adapters and connect to the vehicle's transmission lines. Connect the red and black service hoses to the adapters. From the menu, press 1 for inline service mode. Using the arrow keys, select the amount of fluid you'd like to exchange and press start. If either tank warnings are flashing, remedy before continuing or select a different amount. Press 1 for no chemical cleaning, press 2 for 5 minute chemical cleaning, or press 3 for 10 minute chemical cleaning. If selecting a cleaning mode, Add chemical through the vehicle's dipstick and start the engine. If required by the vehicle, shift to neutral for circulation. If one of the cleaning modes is selected, the machine will automatically go into exchange mode once the cleaning process is complete. Start the engine and check for any leaks. Then press start. The screen will display the amount coming into the machine and going out to the vehicle. If the screen displays halted reverse hoses, change the position of the flow diverter on the side of the machine. Pull the knob on the flow diverter valve out. If it is already in the out position, push the knob in. This will reverse the direction of flow. Press stop, then start to resume the exchange. The machine will continue to add and remove fluid from the vehicle. If the screen displays halted shift to neutral, apply the parking brake and shift the vehicle's gear to neutral. Press stop then start to resume the exchange. Once the exchange is finished, the display will flash complete. Now, check the vehicle's fluid level. To add a full quart to the vehicle, press 0 and then select number 3. To remove a full quart from the vehicle, press 0 and select number 4. To add a quarter of a quart, press the Add button. To remove a quarter of a quart, Press the Remove button. Check that the fluid is at the proper level. Shut off the vehicle and disconnect the machine's service hoses. Now disconnect the adapters from the vehicle. Reconnect the vehicle's transmission lines. Start the engine and check for leaks. Remove all miscellaneous tools from the engine compartment. Connect the machine's battery cables properly to the vehicle's battery. Connect the unit's red and gray service hoses to the supplied dipstick Y manifold. Measure the machine's dipstick hose against the vehicle's dipstick wand and insert the dipstick tube the same measurement, making sure you reach the bottom of the pan. 
From the menu, press 2 for dipstick mode. Make sure that the flow diverter valve is in the out position for dipstick service mode. Using the arrow keys, select the amount of fluid you would like to exchange and press start. If either tank warnings are flashing, remedy before continuing or select a different amount. If interested in draining the pan and changing the filter, press 1 for a normal exchange or press 2 if you would like to drain the pan for vehicle filter change. If interested in using a chemical cleaning process, either press 1 for no chemical cleaning, press 2 for 5 minute chemical cleaning, or press 3 for 10 minute chemical cleaning. If selecting a cleaning mode, add the chemical through the vehicle's dipstick to the engine. If required by the vehicle, shift to neutral for circulation. When the chemical cleaning mode is complete or no chemical cleaning is selected, shut off the vehicle. To begin the dipstick exchange with the vehicle's engine off, press the green start button. The machine will drain the pan of dirty fluid and refill the pan with the exact same amount of new fluid. The machine's display will flash Start Engine. Start the engine and press the green Start Resume button. The machine will continue to add one quart and then remove one quart while the vehicle is running until the job is complete. The display will flash complete and beep when the job is finished. Shut off the vehicle. Pull the dipstick tube out halfway and press the remove fluid key. This will reduce the amount of fluid in the hose, reducing the chance of dripping. Remove the hose completely and check the vehicle's fluid level. If the fluid level is low or high, insert the hose back into the dipstick tube and press the add or remove keys. These add or remove keys will add or remove a quarter of a quart at a time until the fluid level is correct in the vehicle. To complete the dipstick exchange service, disconnect the service hoses and the battery cables from the vehicle. Remove all miscellaneous tools from the vehicle's engine compartment. Fill the proper specified fluid into the bottle on the top of the machine. Connect the machine battery cables properly to the vehicle's battery. Using the supplied power steering Y adapter, connect the red hose with the ball valve and the gray hose to the Y adapter using the supplied fitting as shown. Remove the reservoir cap and insert the clear hose to about a half an inch above the bottom of the power steering reservoir. Make sure all lines are clear of the fan and belts. To get to the main menu, press 0. Press the down arrow twice, and then select option number 4 for power steering service. Open the ball valve on the red hose. Using the pendant, drain the reservoir. Then refill the reservoir with new power steering fluid. And then start the engine. Turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and to the right. Repeat this lock to lock procedure three to four times. With the vehicle still running, using the pendant, drain and refill the power steering reservoir. Be careful not to drain the power steering reservoir completely while the vehicle is running. Be sure to leave some fluid in the bottom of the reservoir when draining. Again, turn the steering wheel to each lock position three to four times. Continue to repeat the entire process of draining and refilling, then turning the steering wheel until all of the fluid coming out of the reservoir is clean. Remove the clear hose from the reservoir and drain the contents of the hose to prevent dripping. Verify the proper fluid level and make necessary adjustments before replacing the reservoir cap. 
Then press stop to exit power steering mode and turn off the engine. Disconnect the machine from the vehicle and remove all miscellaneous tools from the engine compartment. Connect an open end hose using the master connector fittings to the red service hose and insert into a proper waste container. Make sure that the flow diverter valve is in the out position for draining the tanks. Press zero to get to the main menu. Press the down arrow once and press six for new tank drain or seven for used tank drain. Press the green Start Resume button. Be prepared as the fluid will drain rapidly. The machine automatically monitors its own filter usage and recommends a filter change after a thousand quarts have run through the filters. Actual filter change intervals will vary depending on the condition of the fluid that has been exchanged. The filters are located on the front of the machine. The filters can be removed using a standard filter wrench. Additionally, filter use can be checked at any point. From the main menu, press the down arrow twice, then press number three. The total quarts run through the filters will be displayed on the screen. Additionally, after a filter change, the counter can be reset from this screen by pressing number 2. Note that the machine must be reprimed after a filter change.